Welcome back to another episode. Today is the 28th of December and it is currently 422 and I am going to go online now. I thought I'd start um, filming a little bit early today since um, I don't think I've ever filmed in uh, sunset hours so it was nice weather today so I thought I'd go out do some deliveries and film the sunset colors huh so the 28th is usually the last day of working before the workers go into holiday happy uh, New Year's holiday for most of the companies in Japan so from today from tomorrow it's gonna be the New Year holiday seasons and usually the Japanese companies um, have the days off till the 3rd of January so the first day of work is usually usually the 4th of uh, January depending on if it's a weekend or a weekday but yeah 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 so gonna be the holiday seasons and recently uh, because of uh, maybe entering the holiday seasons I've been getting some weird orders uh, having troubles um, yeah this one guy he had his um, pin set to um, Shinjuku and after I picked up the order and found out where I was going to going to deliver to when I was checking where to deliver to and it said Shinjuku I said oh well and then he messaged me um the address he's at is uh, Ueno and Ueno is like 10 kilometers away from Shinjuku so I said oh well, I, there's no way I can do that you know and also even if it was 10 kilometers away if it was somewhere I can go to and then keep on delivering it would have been okay but Ueno I, it's not my area at all so I contacted support and got that cancelled okay and I was surprised I still get um, paid for that delivery and it was a pretty good pay delivery so I didn't have to deliver and then I got his food I think he had ordered uh, two um, foes noodles so I got that for free that was kind of cool but yeah 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 I'd rather deliver without troubles you know and then another one was this guy um, he ordered a bunch of Chinese food for like maybe or two or three persons worth of food and then he had his address written but he didn't have like the street numbers just up to the city so I messaged him said where do I need to deliver and he didn't message back so I just went to where his had his pin set then when I got there and contacted him he didn't reply at all and then I tried to call him and the phone wouldn't um, connect it probably hit, didn't have any phone number set and yeah 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 he I think he was a Chinese person because when I went to pick up his food the merchant the business that he ordered at it was a bubble tea store but the staff was kind of confused also because he the writ he had written some directions to the merchants and it was all in Chinese and they couldn't read it and they they were pretty confused and they asked me if I could read it but I said no I I can't read it also so they were like using um some translating app to read the directions and stuff so at that point I knew it was going to be kind of a hard one to deliver but didn't expect him to like not answer any of my messages at all so that ended up being cancelled with the 10 minute timer so if uh, some of you don't know on the Uber Eats app the, cur the cur us couriers if we go to the delivery spot and then contact the uh, uh, customer and it'll set a 10 minute timer and if the customer doesn't respond and the courier is not able to deliver the food for some reason like he there's like it was can't find where the location is or whatever or he, the customer doesn't open the lock to get into the apartment or whatever things like that and we contact the customer and they don't reply for 10 minutes it's uh, automatically canceled so yeah yeah that happened and just overall it seems like you know there's just some orders coming in that's not 
uh, usual, you know, the unordinary seems to happen in the holiday seasons. So, well, I got online, couple, but no orders are coming in. I am currently in Nakano. It's uh, my hometown where I live at. So I'm gonna start here, see where it leads me today. Okay, we got our uh, first order, taco raisu. Taco raisu is like, um, you know like the fillings in uh, tacos? They have that on top of a bowl, a rice bowl. And it's called a taco rice. It's, um, I think it's like an uh, Okinawa food. the store it seems to be a ghost kitchen it's a actually an okonomiyaki store go pick this up お疲れ様です。バイツです。348C0です。はい、お疲れ様です。え、ガットピックアップ。doesn't fit in here. Probably this one's better. I think I want to get like the cooler boxes with um with the velcros where it just flap and then shuts because it's always a hassle to zip up and the zip up and I'm the zippers are kind of going bad right now. Anyways, let's get this delivered. It is 2.5, oh, 3 kilometers. Man, the weather has been so nice recently. It is starting to get cold, but it's still like in the daytime, warm like 10 degrees you can walk around without a jacket
Okay, one done. Oh, cool. This one is um, ordered with uh, two pickups and delivers to the same place. So this one's cool. Oh, Nakai. I gotta turn right here. I was um, asked to share my stats of my deliveries, how much um, I made and the distance I drove for the deliveries. So I'll probably share the Uber Fleet, the app that gives you all the statistics for your uh, everyday deliveries. Then that way maybe you guys can have um, some idea of um, how much um, you can make and how much you have to, you know, work you have to do for it, right? And about the earnings, it's you. When I was on my bicycle, I would probably get around 1,200 yen when it's good, but on the average around 1,100, I think. And then on the rainy days, it would be better. I could probably make like 2,000 yen per hour. Then um, my, when I switch to the bike, I seem to be getting around maybe like 1.5 times more than what I used to make when I was um, on my bicycle. So maybe like one six, uh, maybe a little bit more than 1.5 because I don't know. Maybe it's hard to say because of the you know the seasons when it's slow and busy. So it's kind of the busy season right now. So I'd be getting around. Um, 1800 yen to 2000 yen on the average so yeah but for the bicycle uh, for being on the motorcycle you have to consider some of the maintenance fees and like the insurance and stuff like that so but still I think you you do make a little bit more if you're on a motorcycle and I've heard that it um, you get more requests than the bicycle the couriers so that that helps also to be able to make more money cuz and you can you know choose your requests more you know you can be more picky about the deliveries you want to do but yeah, right now I want to finish a lot of uh, deliveries, as I said on the last episode, because this week I didn't have much time to do um, deliveries, so I want to do the short ones and then get as much uh, deliveries uh, count as possible to get the quest incentive. Okay, let's get this delivered. Um, oh, picked up. What am I going to pick up? It's a double pickup at the same location one is a uh, yakitori it's a uh, chicken barbecue and another one is sushi so they ordered yakitori and sushi DEF82 です。はい、はい、お預かりします。
so it is a order of sushi for three and then some separate orders of sushi yeah uh, yakitori they ordered uh, two orders of ten piece so it seems like they're having a party huh it's a holiday season so they must be getting like a family get-together yeah sushis are some of the it's an order that couriers don't really like right because it's easy to uh you got to be careful with it deliver it gently hopefully i have don't have any trouble delivering this one oh it's already dark didn't get to see much of the sunset got to the building but I think it's one of those things where the building is in on the middle of the two streets and I think it's on the other side Bummer. あ、ウーバーイーツ届けまいりました。はい。ありがとうございます。はい、ご利用ありがとうございました。Okay, I got another order. It's um uh, oh, okay, I know where this is. I've picked up here before. It's at Mejiro Station and then we're going to go drop it at uh, Minami Nagasaki where where we were just at, so I came to Takarana Baba because it seemed like it was pretty slow in the Mejiro area but seems like I'm going straight back to Mejiro Okay, arrived at the first pickup Oh, actually I got a second pickup while I was coming here uh, First one is Ayan, a Japanese cuisine like a regular old school Japanese uh, meal type of store and next one is Otoya is both uh, it's the uh, same kind of restaurant as I am it, they have like a very very Japanese style dish okay I changed the GoPro battery and I accidentally put a uh, a dead battery inside and then I couldn't record the pickup but anyways I got the pickup and see what they got let's see what they ordered uh grilled mackerel bento yeah so that's the kind of place it's like a bento type of store let's go to Otoya Otoya is the same kind of store or restaurant not store はい。はい、お疲れ様です。Okay, let's see what they ordered. Uh, to see amakara dare no karaage bento. So, fried chicken bento. Look at this. It's like there's got to be a better way to get there than going like all the way around like that, right? That is so weird. Yeah, we'll try to find a way. Oh, what's this Good day, thank you so Going back to the Ikebukuro area, where my workplace is at. Okay, order request is a little bit far. It's gonna take me 30 minutes for two pickups, but two orders but since it's kind of getting slow I'm gonna take this one call it a day for the vid and then I'll 
at the end of the video, I'll post the results for you guys. Okay, let's go get this pickup. So what am I picking up? Uh, it's uh, pick up two pickups at the same store. That's cool. Ramen Butayama. Buta means pig, so... Must be pretty fat, huh? Let's go get this pick up! ウーバイツを届けてまいりました。あ、oh, this is pretty fancy。お願いします。So I had another order come in while I was doing this、uh, delivery, but it was、um, an add-on for a Chinese restaurant that. I usually, they usually make me wait. Yeah, and then, and then it's an add on, right? Those orders were when it's like comes in as an add on. Seems like you have to really be careful to what to、uh, pick up because usually they end up making you wait, you know? Uber seems to like add those on at the last minute, you know? Oh, this guy's close by. Make him pick up. Let's go. There's no map. Ah, thank you very much. I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to go to the store. Nice view. This one's finished. It helps so much when they come out at the door and tell you which room it is because sometimes when the apartments are super big and there's a lot of rooms, it takes a while to find out what the, where the room is. Okay, let's get the second one dropped. Finish this drop and then get something, grab something to eat. Feeling like ramen noodles since I just carried ramen, right? 502 is at this、uh, meated door, yeah. Ah, I'm going to go to the next one. Okay, we got the last delivery done. Came a little bit too far out of the main area of the city, center of the city. I'm gonna go offline now, grab something to eat, and then continue on with the rest of the night. And then I will post the results of today's delivery on Uber Fleet. Oh, yeah, and、um, got to 100 subs, right? Next, my next goal is 500 subscribers. So, if you guys like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. It is always a big help to the channel. And see you guys in the next episode.
Ride safe.